figure shows the speed time graph for a rubber ball and a football that are falling together. A. Both balls fall from the same height above the ground. I. Find the terminal velocity of the football. The terminal velocity is the maximum constant speed reached by the falling object. If we look at the graph of the football, we will find that this maximum constant speed is 10 meters per second. This is the terminal velocity of the football as it falls down. B. Both balls have the same mass, but the volume of the football is much greater than that of the rubber ball. Explain in terms of forces acting on each ball why the football reaches a terminal velocity, but the rubber ball doesn't. This is the football and this is the rubber ball. The question says that they have the same mass, so they will have the same force of gravity, or you can say the weight. Terminal velocity is reached when the weight downwards or the force of gravity downwards equals to the drag force or the air resistance upwards. The football is large. That's why this equilibrium point where weight downwards equals drag upwards will be reached in a shorter time than that for the rubber ball of the small size. That's why the football reaches the terminal velocity in a short time, but the rubber ball will need much longer time to reach this terminal velocity. So we can answer this. Football is larger, so it experiences a greater air resistance. For the rubber ball, the air resistance is too small to balance the weight. But for the football, the drag force is enough to balance the weight.